Sean Robinson. <laughs> I'm 20 years old and I'm a Sagittarius. And also I'm six foot eight, flute player. <laughs> you don't see many of those walking around. Um, I was born in Selma, Alabama, a um, small, small town in Alabama. And growing up, I went to elementary school and that has to be the place where my love of music starts. My <laughs> older brother played the recorder and, you know, recorders just play like this. And a lot of people hear it for this annoying sound, but it can be played beautifully. And I was just like, I just gotta do that. I wanna do that too. So I just couldn't wait until I was in fifth grade and got the chance to play the recorder because I wanna play this instrument. It's super cool. and. I got to do it, I got to do it, and I was super excited about it. And in sixth grade, I went to School of Discovery and Magnet School, um, and I was in choir. <laughs> and I was singing, you know, but I was, I really can't sing. <laughs> I was there for the field trip, and after that, in seventh grade, that's when I was like, I wanna do band, you know? And throughout all these times, I played football, but it, I just knew it wasn't my niche, so I, got him saxophone because my older cousin, she played sax. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna be just like her, you know? I always had these people to look up to. My brother first, and now it's my cousin, and I wanted to play sax, and I could be cool and play jazz and just, you know, bust out my sax. Um, just thought that was really cool, and when I got the middle school, high school, my sax messed up terribly, and it was just super expensive to fix it. So I saw the flute, and I was like, if the girls can do it, I can do it better. <laughs> So I've always been grateful um, to have these great music educators in my life. That's something no one can take away from me because I know I had some great music education. Um, so it started in the summer, um, going into my freshman year at 16, going into Davidson High School. My middle school band director, one of them was Kendall Ford. And, you know, he was this expert woodwind player. He played clarinet, flute, saxophone, and everything. He played flute. And I remember like going to him every single day, <laughs> trying to play the flute, you know, I'm like, oh, how you play this? How you play that? How you play this? And it's like, ah, uh, yeah. And eventually, um, Honor Band came up and I made Honor Band. And I was like, oh yeah, nice. I was super excited for that because I just started playing the flute. I only played the flute for a couple months then. I was like, I made honor band. I must be kind of good. <laughs> and that just even, you know, threw gas more on the fire. And then going up, I, um, sophomore year, I made a higher chair in the um, wind ensemble. And then I made uh, first chair in the silver band. And then I made go band the next year. And I made all state. And, you know, just like this super uh, long progression. And also, um, my up, upperclassmen friends, they were in the Mobile Symphony Youth Orchestra, and when I heard about that, I was like, hmm, maybe I should audition. No, I can't do that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And so I auditioned for MSYO, and I made it. I was like, whoa! In the Mobile Symphony Youth Orchestra, I got to work with incredible, incredible young musicians. And not only incredible young musicians, but I was being fed this knowledge from the conductor. First, it was Dr. Seabacher, and then it was Dr. Um, Ivan Del Prado, who's from Cuba. And you know, he's this feisty, passionate man who's just like, oh, you know, really gusty with his music. And I was just like, I want to be like him. That's what I want to do. I want to be a conductor. So I asked him for some advice and you know this is a time auditioning for colleges and that was like really stressful because not only i was auditioning for colleges i had to do school work for colleges and applications but it was all good because i was like this is what i want to do and at the time i met dr andrew bonnet flute professor at south and i took taking lessons with her before and we've talked and i've been to flute choir concerts flute concerts and you know just like soaking all the flute i can get and if this said flute in it i was there or i wanted to be there and i auditioned for south and i was like okay i did the audition cool and i was accepted and they gave me a bunch of scholarship. <laughs> so that's why I chose South and the end because I was like, yeah, I can do this. And you know, it's closer to home. So my family won't miss me too much. So while at South, I was still a collegiate mentor for the Mobile Symphony Youth Orchestra because I just couldn't get enough for this orchestral experience. And South, sadly, we have 
not much of a string program there, but we have a very great band program and it's really good. But I, I, I kept needing this need for an orchestral program because it's different styles of playing orchestral flute versus wind ensemble flute. And so I um, stayed in the youth symphony and I was a collegiate mentor helping out the young flutists. And I have my best friend Darina, who is also a collegiate mentor there. So, you know, we're here helping out the orchestra as a whole. And we're also helping these young high school flutists, you know, pretty much get them to where we were. My second year of college, you know, I was looking at these different things. I'm on a flute forum where all of these international flutists, we ask questions and we send videos of us playing. And Aidit, he posted something like, do you want to study in beautiful Norway? This is an opportunity. I was like, yeah, I want to study in beautiful Norway. Yeah, sign me up. So I um, texted him to get some more information about it. And he told me, but I was like, okay, sounds cool. Okay, let me send in an application. And I sent him my application. I sent him some videos of me playing and whatnot. And I got the email that I was accepted into Topenkrisset, uh, which is the music, international music course. And I was like, oh my gosh, wow. I was in disbelief. And then I got another email that I was principal flute. And I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> and so I went to Norway. <laughs> All in Norway, you know, met all these great, beautiful people who, like, I call good friends now. I like, felt like I've known them for like a long time, and we're just there and we're just chatting, and we're like, "Oh, Jashan, you should come to Norway." I'm like, "I can't come to Norway, what?" And talking to the flute professor um, at Topin, you know, he was like, "This is a, if this is what you want to do. Here's like a school called uh, Tonaheim, Tonaheim Folk Hall School." some people there about five um guys from the music international music course with is going to Tonaheim as well so I'm like okay okay I'll do it I'll, I'll, I'll see what it's about <laughs> and so me like just looking up more for international students you have to learn Norwegian so there's like this Norwegian course there that they teach you basic Norwegian and as you progress you know you get better but you also are studying music on the other side as well so I'll be there the Tonaheim for it's a one-year um, program so I can get Norwegian under my belt and after that I have the opportunity to go to one of the conservatories in Norway and I plan on Going, the Oslo Conservatory, the Norwegian Academy of Music. And once I continue my studies there for another three years, I plan to come back to the States and teach my flute students, which are majority guys, because I make sure I look for them, you know, because it's very rare at a young age in America, especially for young men to play flute because there's just like those notions about oh flute is this flute is that and I'm here to break all of them. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, Jay Sean Robinson. Um, I plan on conquering the world one country at a time. And this time is going to start with Norway. <laughs>